And now I think it's time to start laying out some interior partitions. Let's go down to our main floor, double click. And we're gonna say that maybe we'll have an entrance here, we'll have an entrance here. And let's put a kind of a main corridor that crosses like a big X, big cross, and then another kind of corridor coming down over here. So we need to draw some interior walls. We just want a steel stud wall with, um, with drywall finish. Okay, so we can go to architecture, wall. And let's hit edit type. And let's look at what we have. We want an interior uh, 135 partition, two hour fire rating. Looks good. Let's hit edit type or structure to see what it is. So gypsum wallboard 15. So double layers of gypsum wallboard, steel studs at 64. No, that's not quite what I want. So what I'm going to do is Watch, I'm going to click on first. I'm going to actually hit cancel and duplicate. I'll leave the original the way it was. Hit duplicate. And I'm just going to call this interior, you know, 150 stud. Steel studs. Okay. Hit edit type. Now I'm going to take this one and say delete. I'm going to make this be. 20 millimeters, you know, about 15 millimeters, you know. And this is 150, which is six inches. And let's take this guy and delete and take this guy and delete, take this guy and make leave it at 15. Click in here, zoom in. So very basic steel stud wall, 15 millimeter drywall on each side. Look, looks good. Hit OK. The steel stud is the core edge, right? Hit OK. Now, as I place this one, I can say, where do I want my placement line? Do I want to offset it in the plan? And where is it going to and from vertically? So you have your vertical offsets and your plan offsets. So it's going from the main floor up to the second floor with an offset of minus 250, which is the thickness of our floor. You can hit enter on that. Notice it tells me the total height is 3750. And location line wall center line sure i suppose that's not too bad so again i'm just gonna this is a nice thing about revit it's very forgiving so you can kind of just wing it and fix it later so i'm just going to click on here say okay let's say the this goes up to here and over to here okay then the other corridor maybe goes from here i'm not even worrying about dimensions click on here goes up to here and to there escape now I'm going to pick on here, click here, click there. Okay. Now I'm going to take these two guys using my control button and say mirror about here. Click out. Now I want everything to line up, so I'm being sloppy here. Let's align this over there. Okay, let's align this over here. Good. So there's my first set. Now, just for the fun of it, let's copy this. Watch, control to grab both of these guys and say copy from here, I don't know, randomly somewhere up here. Escape, escape. Okay, now I'm going to just do another partition wall like this. I'm going to say click on there and say create similar. This is very handy. It means basically give me one of these. Create similar, pick on here and drag across there. I'm going to notice it keeps going because I have my chain turned on. When chain is turned on, it means you can keep going and it keeps drawing. If chain is turned off, what happens is when you end your segment, it stops the tool and you can start it somewhere else. Escape, escape. Big crossing box and delete on the keyboard. Now I'm going to use my other trim, this one, and say extend to here, this guy. Again, extend this guy. Okay, this is pick an edge, pick a line, pick an edge, pick a line. So that's not too bad. Now what I need to do is put a break. Actually, I think I'm just going to have a door there. That break is actually fine. So there's kind of my main corridors. I do need a split here. So watch, I'm going to use my split tool. Split, you get your X-Acto blade. It puts a split in there. Now I'm going to use my normal trim command and say trim this guy with this guy and this guy with this guy. Okay. Zoom out, there's my main corridor, okay, in my main floor plan. Now, if we go to a 3D view, we're not going to see that, okay, but if you pick on here, you'll kind of see through. 
you can kind of oh there's a floor in the way there too as well okay we're going to show you later how to use um, this displacement tool here okay because you can take this kind of go whoop, and you can pull these guys out we'll show you that later with this one with the roof as well okay but rest assured there's our because we don't have a, a main floor yet so there's our corridor walls back to our main floor and we're ready to um, add in some more partitions after we do our save <laughs> aha don't forget to save well you don't have to do the save i have to do it so number 13 is our next lesson